Hey you guys, it's your girl Frida. I'm kind of sorry about the light, you guys. I'm still working on that. Um, ooh. But anyway, um, I just wanted to give you a quick note. Say hey, everybody. And um, I was going to do a video, but I didn't. Um, it's about the FTC. You guys, I jumped the gun um, and I erased a lot of my videos. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of them over. Um, I'm going to try to work on some holiday videos. Um, I said try because I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I have photo shoots and stuff coming up um, in December. So I'm getting a little work, you guys. So happy about that. Um, need some regular time gigs. But hey, it'll come once my website up. But anyway, um, like I said, I jumped the gun about that, and I kind of understand where the uh, FTC is coming from as far as the guidelines and trying to, uh, um, to protect us as consumers and all of that good stuff. Um, so I won't be taking any more of my videos down. Um, I will be uh, putting some disclaimers, but um, on uh, some of the videos that I um, received uh, free stuff from uh, Beauty Factor. But um, when I receive free stuff from people, um, or you know, they'll ask me to do stuff if I'm not interested in a product or I don't think it's a good fit for me, I do turn them down. Um, if it is a product that um, I didn't like it at all. You know how your mama say or your daddy say, if it ain't um, nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. That's me, and I'll let you know. I'm not going to say anything um, about your product. Um, I just refuse to do the review. Um, that being said, um, that's that on that. Um, I did uh, kind of say in my last video that I will be having by bi bariatric um, lap band surgery and um, you know that's me that's what I'm doing personally um, I don't want anybody to follow my lead um, I am proud to be a big girl um, as y'all can see I'm getting my head to the gym I actually got my bathing suit on don't want to show y'all too much boo but um, so I'm a low rider today because I have no bra on um, but I'm about to head to the gym I hate my friend Kim, she's been dragging me to the gym. I've been dragging ass since the holidays. But I'm about to get back into it. Um, so um, I went spinning yesterday, and Jesus, my ass hurt, you guys. If you've ever been spinning, I don't care if you're skinny, big, whatever. That little seat get up in your ass, man. I'm serious. It get up in your ass. But um, I also... My hubby came in. I guess he's ready for me to get ready to go. I got to get ready to go. But um, also, I just want to kind of explain. Um, because even though I did say it's none of you guys' business about my lap band surgery, I realized that I opened my mouth. So by me opening my mouth, I feel like I not at, give you an explanation, but a reason why I chose it. Um, I've been doing pretty good on my own, maintaining my weight. Um, and everything, um, like I said before in many of my other videos, I was 343. Um, I've had some water issues, so I reached 300 and panic like hell. But anyway, um, I had been deciding this for years um, to have it. And um, I got an opportunity to go to a couple seminars. And I was still teething tired about doing it or whatever. And um I went for my consultation. I did my four months of, of weight loss management. And then when I went to go, I was still teetering tired because I was like, ah, y'all don't understand. My biggest fear is waking up with the tube in my mouth and somebody pulling that tube out my mouth. Oh my God, that's my biggest fear and me gagging and all that other stuff. Um, but um, what sold me is when I stepped on the scale, you guys, and... I really didn't care about the weight, but to see my body mass index being 57, let's get the shit out of me, you guys. All of that fat, that means I'm 57% fat. That means that shit is around my heart, my liver, my lungs. It's everywhere, all over my body. So, basically, I have another person, a half a person on my body, and that shit kind of scared me. Um, I don't want to lose my curves and the reason why I did choose the lap band is 
it's not um, every surgery has its risk put it that way but this was a decision for me because I don't want an easy fix I wanted something that will be gradual so I won't have excess skin um, I wanted something that I can work towards because when you're working hard at something you'd be damned if you give up or let anything mess it up um, sometimes when you're giving something easy I'm not saying that to anybody to offend the, them at all but when you were given something easy you like you take it for granted so that's why I chose that um, so you guys I'm gonna be having my surgery on in January so um, before my birthday so I'm really excited but scared but excited but scared um, any kind of surgery is scary I've never really had surgery before and um, um, except for when I was a child and I don't remember it um, but um, I'm very scared you guys um, I've been doing my research 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 and I've been looking at videos and um, it's a scary thing to go through um, but the risk of me having so much fat around my heart and my you know internal organs you guys that scared the shit out of me and I'd rather take the risk of me dying on the table than me dying way way before my time um, meaning you know um, try to do something about it now um, I have been working out as usual and I swear I hate my girlfriend Kim she's dragging me to this club you just I don't understand I've been a I just been off for a week since you know um, Thanksgiving and I it's hard to get back into it one week you guys I haven't been going to the gym and I went yesterday and like I said that bike seat killed my ass um I had the wedgie of my life my husband had to help me pull my drawers out of my ass okay that's too much yeah I think I think that's too much information I'm sorry you guys but anyway um yeah that was yeah um but I will be going to the gym and doing my water aerobics today. I am tired and I really don't want to go. I've been doing crap today. Um, just been working on my website with um, this photographer I've been working with and going on some con concepts uh, with one of the girls that's doing um, photo shoot Sunday. So. But she's dragging me and she said if I don't go she's threatening me and she was coming over my house and <sighs> so I better get my ass and move and I'll be standing in there looking kind, kind of perturbed like get my ass off of here so I just wanted to say hey you guys I got a lot of your messages and encouragements and I want to thank you guys for that um, and that's about it I look forward to seeing you guys again, doing some more makeup, some updates, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to try to fit some stuff in before, um, I guess, Christmas and stuff like that. So, I hope you guys had a good turkey day, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Like I always say, if you look good, smell good. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a little weak and tiresome, but hey, I'm going to be worse when I get home from the gym. But I... Love you guys and I miss you guys. Talk to you later.